I got quite frustrated with the current levels of silt mitigation. I wanted to design an idea that was reusable, um, preferably recyclable. I say the, the bag's made out of 30% uh, recycled materials. And to start documenting and extracting silts from utility, you know, utility upgrades, um, forestry sites. So basically anything that we do has a knock-on effect on the environment. Um, and you're just trying to negate essential works. Works that are going to happen anyway, we know this, but you're just taking that extra step to actually go a little bit beyond the norm with silt management. I've yet to be turned away by somebody going, oh, rubbish idea. There's folk want to change. Within the forestry industry, but we're not just dealing with foresters, we're not just dealing with civil engineers, you're dealing with SSE, Scottish Water, everybody. And then, you know, you've got the, the end user, the, the folk in drinking water down at the bottom of the houses. They've got an interest. And so whatever we can do to combat this is, is a good thing. Mm -hmm. This has went from flash to bang in ridiculous time. Last year, 2023, uh, the Institute of Quarrying ran the Emerald Challenge. And the basic idea of it was to get this, you know, anybody that's a member of the Institute to submit their ideas, how to make the, the quarrying industry safer, just make it better, you know, better working environment. So I went joint first place and I, I just took on, you know, I suppose it was my passion or frustration, I think. Um, not just with, I, I left the, Forest as a quarry manager, that was my sort of remit. So anytime we were doing blasting works or crushing works, you know, it's be getting run off. And it's, it's just what, you know, taking an extra step to try and capture that. It started off as a, a thousand board essay and I didn't think it would get through. And then I went to another one, I went to another one, and then, yeah, I ended up being told that I won it. So it's it quite a big thing. The idea of the design or the, the, the concept in the design is it, you can either have these as singles or in like check dams. And it slows the flow of the water down. And then that, the, it gives the, 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 the silt, the particles, an opportunity to actually start dissipating and uh, being captured. And the difference between this and, you know, other ideas about the moment is this actually captures, you know, the, the, there's a box in here to capture it. And the wings help regulate the direction of the flow of water. So that's it. It started um, just without the wings. It started, it was uh, different sizes. I've got other ideas in the pipeline. Um, just to sort of tweak it and move forward in the, the, uh, in the future for sort of different ideas that I've got. And I think we've had about five different attempts going back and forth to the manufacturer, tweaking things. Um, I've had to deal with the IP office to get it patented. Um, and just, what, three weeks ago, I've now got the silver sump registered as a registered trademark. You can see the tangible results at the end of this. The idea is that one person can put them out on their own quickly and I've got this time now to about seven or eight minutes to, from start to finish installation. So, and again, the, the whole concept and the whole drive of this is to be recyclable, uh, reusable. So, yeah, I've made out the, we've settled in this material and it's, it works. They're up in, I believe, the Shetlands, they're, far, they're as far down as Cornwall. And everybody genuinely loves them. I've yet, I've taken any criticism on board. And that the gen hasn't been too much. Uh, folk, the, the, there is a need for change at the moment. The days of just throwing a bale of straw in the, the ditch and calling it silt management are definitely out the window. What, would happen on, what can happen on a forestry site that would mean silt would be entering waterways? A, a new road construction. You, you're going to get an awful lot of silt. Road upgrades um, or harvesting sites, uh, DP sites, direct product sites. When you go in, and you, you go in in a short period of time over the same bits of ground, you're inevitably carving the ground up. You then start squeezing out silt, going into watercourses. And up here in Argyll, every watercourse leads into drinking water somewhere. And it's just giving you the tools that you can have them in the, the back of the van, you can take them out, you can establish them. Make it a part of your site setup. And what I'm getting at the moment is a lot of folk trialling them, taking them on and just oh, touching the water, which is fantastic. And, you know, I've been getting good numbers out that way. So the big plus point, you, you've got a product B-Spot made for this. Yeah, it's... This was designed by civil engineer for the forestry, quarrying industry, um, for ditching. Nothing else. I'm not trying to put this where it shouldn't go. It's not to go in streams. It's not to go in rivers. It's, this is for ditching works. Big advantage is very self-contained. It's so lightweight. I, I can barely even register it when it's wrapped up. So you can have these in your, your van. You can have five of these sitting behind the seat uh, in case you, you see 
they come across anything. Once the job's finished, you can extract, you can you can document, you, you can actually tell folk, you know, you've, you've taken so much silt out of the, the watercourses. People want the change, that's, that's the thing.